The earth is nursed on her front. First light brings end to a dreamless night. The earth lies face down in fusion pump sound. Busy gloves and gowns surround her bed. Outside the sun rises like a crown, a halo that gleams around her head. Night shift rounds are coming to an end. Hot coffee and tea, the earth's leaves return to green now that there is oxygen supplying her trees. The nurse finishes, takes off her PPE, looks in the mirror, her name badge reads, Hello, my name is Florence. She thinks, I am glitter and dust and light in the dark. I am peep and peak and burnt out stars. I am thousands of pen torches lighting a well-trodden path. And today is new. It is the 12th of May. And Florence Nightingale was born 200 years ago today. The earth wakes at dawn. She sits up, stretches and yawns. Today is the 12th of May, her first baby's due date. The earth waits, holds her egg warm roundness in the curtainy dark. She has found this last bit hard. Midwife smiles that are hidden behind masks, but now she calls her midwife who lives across the street. She comes running with cambium hands and heartwood feet. The earth has tending to her the very tallest tree, cut with knowledge and skill and kindness beneath. Her baby is coming, streaks of red and gold, flashes of hot and cold, lavender, chamomile and marigold. The earth's breath is controlled and her baby is born. Three souls forever notched on bark where a new growth ring forms. The earth has grown older. She feels this in her bones when the weather grows colder. Her chest is a bird's nest of brittle sticks no longer so easily fixed. The earth worries about her lungs since she is to stay at home. Frightened, now she'll spend each day alone. Her phone rings. A specialist nurse who teaches her with one simple click, a flipped screen, and suddenly less lonely in all of this. It is a video call across her deserts and forests, an oceanic ridge, a tectonic shift, children's hope-filled drawings on the smooth banks of her snow drifts, a voice that she had missed, and from her living room, she is no longer adrift, nor alone, more to a nurse that picked up the phone. We look to what came before, at Florence's lamplight quivering against half-open doors, and to Kronk, and Cavell, Saunders, Seacole, and more. We look now to these nurses and midwives who cared for the earth, who look after others and didn't put themselves first. Hold your pen torches high, to car park cries and angry tweets asking why, to those that rejoined and those on standby, to the earth's clearer waters and cloudless skies, to the people that stayed at home with the days drifting by to the nurses and midwives and all those who lost their lives, to all of them we know that didn't have to die. Hold your pen torches high. Here's to healthy days and hopeful nights. Thank you, NHS, the one and only, the very best.